Hello, my name is Yost, and I'm going to show you how to make an animated GIF from a video clip using a Mac. Now, there are a number of websites out there that will create an animated GIF from a video file they've uploaded. But what I'm going to do is show you how to make it locally so you have more control over how the animation looks, and it doesn't have that little tagline at the bottom with the URL of the site that you made it at. There's also a lot of tutorial sites out there that will explain how to stitch together images in the Apple Preview app to make your animated GIF, but I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to use is a cheap app that I found in the App Store that makes it all real easy. The app is called GIF Brewery and it's by Hello Resolvin. And it's available from the Mac App Store right now for $3.99 and you can find a link in the description below. A lot of the time you'll want to make an animated GIF from a YouTube clip and you'll first need to download that movie file locally in order to create your animation. There are a few Chrome extensions that will help you do this and the one I recommend is called the Chrome YouTube Downloader. You can find the link to it below again. Once we've got our extension installed, you'll find a download link right here underneath the video. Grab a lower resolution video format because we don't want our GIF getting too big once we create it. In some cases, you might have to first convert your video into a compatible format before you can use it in GIF Brewery. All the YouTube formats from the Chrome extension are supported, including Flash video files, but if you ever run into a clip in a format you can't import, you can run that through Handbrake first. Hit the source button to specify your file, load the video, make sure you've selected mp4 file as the output format, and simply hit start. Now at this point we're ready to create our animated GIF. Open up GIF Brewery and load your video file in. You have a timeline below where you can scrub through the video, and you've got these two little arrows here that point to the start and end point of a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my preferred animation about here. And I'm going to move it to end right around here. That looks good. So the frame count and frame delay values might be a little bit confusing. What the frame delay is, is merely the number of milliseconds between individual frames. So for a 10 frames per second uh, animation, the frame count, rather the frame delay, will be 100 milliseconds. The frame count is the total number of frames in the entire animation. So we've got a clip here that's about, um, it's almost three seconds long. So for a frame count, we're going to use 29 frames because we're making a 10 frame per second video. Down at the bottom here, you can change the size of the video. You'll probably want to keep this low. Some sites have a limitation to how wide an animated GIF can be in order for it to still be animated, like Google Plus does, for example. Usually, a value around 300 uh, pixel width is fine here. Hit the Create GIF button to create your animation and preview it. That looks pretty good. If you're satisfied, you can save it. Now you can select the GIF in Finder on the desktop, hit the spacebar, and watch the animation again. And in this case, if you hit Command-I, you can see the size of the GIF is about 980K. It's not too bad for an animated GIF. If it starts to get too big, you can change the resolution of the video that you're importing, maybe even reduce the frame count a little bit, or just shorten the overall clip. Keep it under 5 seconds, maybe. Sometimes you want to add text to your animated video, either as a caption or as some kind of subtitles. The best way to do that is to load it up into iMovie. So we're going to do that here. And after you've um, imported the movie into an event and created a new project, you can pick your clip up here, just like before. We start here and go over to here. Now you drag that clip into the project below. And from the text uh, from the title browser rather here, let's try the upper title. Drag that here so that it covers the entire video. And you can add your description up top. And the one thing that you'll want to do if you double click on this here, you can change the transition time to manual and then drag it over here to zero milliseconds. That way the text will appear for the entire duration of the clip. And let's take a look at that. <laughs> That looks good. Now you can save this video clip again and use that as the input for GIF Brewery. One final tip. 
If you use Gift Room, you can create animated GIFs straight on your phone, both on Android and iOS, and then share them straight to your social networks. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.